Hello people, in this video let us look at this Ransom score and uh, Glasgow scale criteria for uh, determining this acute pancreatitis uh, severity. So if somebody has acute pancreatitis, you want to know whether it is severe and uh, how, how serious this condition is, right? So you have something called as a Ransom score or a Glasgow scale. This is not Glasgow coma scale, remember. So this is a prognostic indicator. So in this, uh, both of these scores are almost the same, okay? So just look at uh, what they are looking at. Um, they are looking if age is greater than 55 years and this guy has pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis, it could be bad. If his WBC count is really high, okay, then it is bad. If his uh, blood glucose level is more, that's bad. If his LDH levels are more, that's bad. If his AST, that is SGOT, uh, aspartate amino transferase is, ba uh, is more, that's bad, okay. Um, basically, uh, so many criteria are there. If three, more than three of these are there, it is a severe disease, okay. So, these uh, five things what we told you now are on admission itself. You can check immediately as soon as admission. Within 24 hours, what else they are checking? Um, if the partial pressure of oxygen, right, arterial oxygen saturation is less, that is, he is not able to retain oxygen. And then, if his calcium values are falling, calcium values are decreasing, not good. If his serum urea levels are more, okay, serum urea levels are more, that means what? His kidney is not working fine, looks like, right? What do you say? So, this uh, urea level is more. This is not a good thing, but I am just saying whatever is more, I am putting it in green, okay? So, uh, all these values will be more and this PaO2 will be less, calcium will be less. That means this uh, prognostically, if three or more is there, then it is severe case, okay? So, can you tell now? How do you tell a person has severe uh, disease? Come on, say. Let's uh, use green and uh, this one. Yeah. His age is more. Okay, very good. His blood glucose is more. Very good. His uh, urea is more. Yes. Then uh, his urea is more. Yeah. His partial pressure of oxygen is uh, less. Yes. Very good. Then his calcium is uh, less. Yes. Calcium is less and uh, PaO2 is less. Okay, these two are less. Fine. Whatever is more, you tell. Age more. Yes. Um, glucose more, yes, then forgetting the others, uh, AST more, very good, AST more, very good, then, okay, the two that I forgot are these, uh, that is WBC more and uh, uh, LDH more, okay, WBC more, LDH more, I forgot. This Ransom score, they've asked too many times in the exam, guys, you have to read this Ransom score, okay, Glasgow score, uh, Ransom score, so much similarities there, so at least you can manage, right? Hmm? Apart from this, what and all is there? Drop in hematocrit is there, which is not common amongst these two. Okay. Drop in hematocrit. Then, drop in hematocrit. Then, what else? In Ranson, it is there. Base deficit is more, it seems. Fluid sequestration is more. What else? That's all, right? Those are the only three things which are not there in uh, this Glasgow. Drop in hematocrit. Base deficit and fluid sequestration. What is base deficit? That means this guy is becoming acidic, right? He's not having base. Alkali he doesn't have. He's having more acid. Fluid sequestration means what? More than 6 liter. This is actually coming only in Ransom score, is it? This is a very important thing, guys. What they are saying is that there's a difference between the amount of fluid intake and the f uh, fluid lost in urine and others, okay? This guy can be vomiting. And this guy can have uh, pancreatic ascites, he can have uh, this fluid being lost into the lesser sac, right? Formation of uh, pseudocyst, etc. So that is why I think this fluid sequestration also is important, okay? So this is the Glasgow scale and the Ranson score. Ranson score, they have asked in the exam, please pay attention to Ranson score, okay? Bye-bye.